I was very privileged to come to Qatar just before the World Cup. So it was a very good timing. Uh, I came in October 22. And uh, by then, you know, it was all, all about the World Cup. So I got to see everyone and meet everyone. So since that moment, frankly, I have to say Qatar is so active, so engaged, um, that uh, since that moment, I think there's been no, I mean, it's been a bit quiet right after the World Cup. After that, uh, it's been um, very impressive to watch this country uh, who developed so quickly especially to host this huge event, but to continue to bring the world together. There was, you know, the big, there are many, many things, but the big things like LDC5, which was bringing everyone to, you know, get together for least developed countries where we can help bring them along. Uh, so many um, other, you know, important uh, sports activities, of course, uh, the most recently me, most recently, sorry, the Asia Cup, uh, be, uh, tennis uh, right now, and last year we had great Canadian tennis players who were around, uh, the Aquatics Championship where Canada has been doing really good. So frankly, it's, uh, I, think, I think a lot of people are jealous of me being <laughs> here in Qatar. It's, it's good and it's busy. And then Qatar is also playing such an important role, you know, in mediation and negotiation that uh, we're quite uh, impressed by uh, the, cap the capacity to do so much for such a relatively, you know, small country. So um, congratulations on Qatar. <laughs>